So what's up guys? So this is our third installment in the protein series and we're gonna check your homework from last time. So I asked you to try to calculate the isoelectric point for the amino acid lysine and let's see how you did. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw lysine at pH one. So at pH one, everywhere a proton can bind, we will have one bind. So this amine group is going to be protonated our carboxylic acid will be protonated, and our side chains. So we have one, two, three, four carbons, and another amine group. And so this other amine group has a pKa. It is an ionizable group. So a proton can bind there, so this is actually going to be NH3+. Plus. Okay, so now I want you to pause the video and look at the amino acid handout and write down all the pKa's listed for lysine. So we have a pKa for our carboxyl group. We have a pKa for our amine group. And unlike alanine, we have a third pKa for lysine. We have one for the side chain and our side chain pKa is 10.53. Okay, so same as before. We're gonna move up from pH one all the way to pH 14, all the way from an acidic environment to a basic environment. So our first pKa that we're going to reach is 2.18. So as we approach 2.18, we're gonna start losing this proton on our carboxyl group. So we should have a negative charge there. So our next pKa we're gonna reach is going to be 8.95 for our alpha amine group. So the amine attached to the alpha carbon, remember our alpha carbon is gonna be the one next to the carboxylic acid carbon. So at 8.95, as we approach 8.95, we're gonna start removing one of the protons from this alpha amine group. And we're gonna get something that looks like this right here. So we're gonna lose one of those protons already lost the proton on our carboxyl group, but we still have a positive charge on our side chain. Okay, now what is our next pKa we're gonna reach? So our next pKa is going to be the side chain amine pKa, so we have 10.53. So as we approach 10.53, we're gonna start deprotonating the side chain amine and our species is going to look something like this. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video if you haven't already and identify the net charge for all four of these species. Okay, so this first one right here at super low pHs, we're gonna have two positively charged groups and a neutral group, so we have a net charge of plus two. The second species, we have two positive and one negative, so two minus one equals a positive one. This next one, we have a positive and one negative, so one minus one, here is our neutrally charged species. And then our last one, we have only one single charge group here, we have a negative charge, so this net charge is negative one. Okay, so to calculate our PI, our isoelectric point, it's gonna be the average of the two pKa's on each side of our neutrally charged species. So we've got 8.95 plus 10.53 divided by two. And if you haven't already, go ahead and pause the video and see what answer you get. It looks like I get 9.7. Four. Okay, so for your homework today, I want you to see if you can do this for one of the polar acidic amino acids. So see if you can calculate the PI for glutamic acid or aspartic acid. So do that on a blank sheet of paper and go ahead and have that ready for you to upload for our next quiz.